Hi, my name's Fred, and this is my bar, and these are my top five tropical cocktails, part two, because you can't fit all the tropicalness in one video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe on the link below, and at the end of this video, please look for all of our other bar and restaurant related videos. And don't forget to check out my new Fred's Delicious Cocktail app. I'll leave that in the description below. Thanks for watching. Okay, the first drink we are making this evening, a classic and one of my favorites, the Rum Runner, the Rum Runner. What you're gonna need for this is three quarters of an ounce of coconut rum. I'm gonna pour it into a mixing tin. There we go. In addition to that, you're gonna need th three quarters of an ounce of your banana liqueur. Okay. And on top of that, we're gonna pour a half an ounce of your blackberry brandy into the mixing tin. And then on top of that, we are gonna put just a quarter ounce of your cherry syrup and a slow pour. There we go. And now for the juices, we are going to add one ounce of your lemonade. We're gonna add two ounces of your orange juice. Sorry, this is pineapple juice. Two ounces of your pineapple juice and make sure you shake your pineapple because you don't want it to separate. And then we're gonna add the two ounces of your orange juice. We're gonna give that a good shake just to incorporate everything. There we go. And pour over your glass with ice. And don't forget, this drink isn't done yet. We need to top with a quarter ounce of Meyer's dark rum as a float. going to float that right on top and garnish with a cherry and there you have your rum runner and it is delicious okay and the next drink we are making this evening is called a killer bee a killer bee it is delicious we're going to move our glass with ice out of the way we're going to put a rocks glass we're going to pour three quarters of an ounce of honey now i've warmed that honey up so it's nice and thin uh if not and you don't have an area to warm your microwave up, uh, to warm your honey up, you're actually gonna pour the, uh, the honey with the one and a half ounces of rum in a glass with no ice and stir it together. That'll break down the honey so it won't stick to the ice. Uh, but for this uh, situation, I had the microwave, so I microwaved it, but we're still gonna add one and a half ounces of rum. And we are still gonna give that a stir to incorporate the honey and the rum together. And like I said, if you don't have a way of warming up your honey, pour the honey in the glass and then add the rum to it. You're gonna have to give it a stir for a little bit, but it will thin out the honey so it does not stick to the ice and it creates a consistent drink. So now we're gonna pour this into the glass. Our honey and rum mixture. Ooh. Then we are gonna add two ounces of our passion fruit. We're gonna add two ounces of our orange juice. And because that was warm, I'm gonna add a little ice to that. There we go. Now we're gonna add this to a mixing tin and give it a good shake. Oh, I forgot. Before I give it a shake, let's add three pinches of pepper. One, two, Three, and this is the ground black pepper, uh, like you'd see in any shaker. Uh, I just put it in a little ramekin here for easy use. Now we're gonna give that a good shake. Pour that, and we are going to garnish with a couple taps of nutmeg and the lime wheel. And there you have your killer bee. And trust me, it is delicious. Okay, the next drink we are making is called the Paradise Surprise. And this drink does take a little bit of prep. Uh, so you're gonna need your hurricane glass without ice in it. We're gonna add a quarter of an ounce of your cherry syrup or grenadine. Try to get it right down the center. And hopefully you don't have a slow pour like me. There you go. Then to that, we are going to add ice. 
There we go. And then in a glass, we're going to prep the first item, which is going to be a half ounce of Bacardi and a half ounce of blue curacao. And we're going to give that a nice stir to incorporate everything. Put that on the side. Then in another glass, we are going to add your one ounce of Malibu rum. And then to that we're going to add one ounce of pineapple juice. Oh, and one ounce of your orange juice. Perfect. We're going to give that a stir to incorporate that. Now I like to transfer this into a mixing tin because it's easier to pour than out of a glass and we're going to pour this right down the center. Perfect. We're going to add a little bit of ice to that and now we're going to add on top of this your rum and blue curacao mixture. Mm. And there you have your paradise surprise, and it is delicious. Okay, and the next drink we are making is called the Jamaican Kiss. A Jamaican Kiss, super easy drink to make. You're gonna need one and a half ounces of your rum. I'm using Bacardi. There you go. And then we are going to add or top, shake with your pineapple juice, about three ounces. Perfect. And then we are going to float a half ounce of Tia Marie. If you don't have Tia Marie, Kahlua will work as well. We're going to do a half ounce of this. And when you think pineapple, rum, and coffee, trust me, it is delicious. And there you have your Jamaican kiss. Okay, and the next drink we are making is called the Rum Punch. The Rum Punch. What you're gonna need for this drink is one ounce of Bacardi. In addition to that, you're gonna need one ounce of Malibu rum, or coconut rum. You're gonna add a half an ounce or of your cherry syrup, a half ounce. Slow pour, one more gulp. There we go. Half ounce of the cherry syrup. We are gonna to top that with orange juice to about there. We're gonna give that a good tumble or a good shake to incorporate. We're gonna to top that with just a tad of ice. And then we are gonna float another half ounce of Myers rum on that. Ooh. And garnish that with a pineapple and cherry. With a pineapple, with an orange and a cherry wedge. Let's try that again. <laughs> We're gonna garnish that with an orange wedge and a cherry. And there you have your rum punch. And it is delicious. Hey, thanks for watching, we appreciate it. Again, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe on the link below, and at the end of this video, which is right now, please look for all of our other bar and restaurant related videos. <laughs> thanks for watching.